so today we are going to uh, make that robot for following line so this is the kit and this is the team so this is the team member my name is Laksh I am in class 7 my name is Tanvi I am in class 3rd my name is Ishani and I am in class 5th and I am Shibashish I am going to help them so first what we will do is we will uh, so these are the kits so you have already purchased all the kit we got the kit and we already fixed the motors with the, in the chassis that is very easy so you uh, you just have to screw the things so that screw and all comes with the kit and then what we did is we soldered the wear so both the terminals of the motors we have soldered and now the main thing comes that how to complete the wiring so what I will do is I will draw the wiring diagram over here and accordingly we will complete the wiring ok so <coughs> what we are going to use this uh, this is L298D uh, motor driver board so it has uh, this uh, 1 2 3 input uh, uh, pin which is basically to power the board and it has one two three four pin to send the signal to the board on which motor you want to connect and then there are two this side two terminals this side which will connect in motor one and this there are two terminals this side which will connect to motor two so it can this board can uh, connect two two motor at a time i mean to connect two motors and it uh, it is driven by uh, this L298 uh, 298N uh, uh, IC so this is the IC ok so now I will draw the circuit diagram so that we can understand how to connect and uh, I did lot of uh, uh, lot of searching in internet because there was a little difficulty connecting this for at least for the newcomers so I thought that I will make this video so that anybody who can want to do this kind of project they can do it easily so this is our uh, L298N board, it has uh, 1, 2, 3 power pin, power terminal and then there is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 input signals and then there are two jumpers and then there are uh, one terminal over here and one terminal over here. So this is for connecting motors uh, positive and negative and motors two terminals so this is for motor one positive and negative and this is for motor two positive and negative and here you have to attach the power uh, uh, batteries so this is for uh, this is written as 12 volt and this is GND and this is for 5 volt so now you can connect any power supply of uh, up to from 9 to 35 volts uh, here and it has a regulator so it will convert it into the required i think 3.3 uh, volt which is required for this uh, for this uh, driver mm -hmm. so now so what we'll do is we'll take the battery of 9 volt our battery is there where is our battery yeah so this is our 9 volt battery we'll use normal we brought it uh, for from amazon i think we purchased it uh, and 10 meters or so and then we will connect this positive terminal over here and negative terminals with the ground and what this motor this board also has a offer is that there is a 5 volt output so in case you want to use any uh, utilities which requires 5 volt you can take from the output from here okay so we will use the uh, these sensors so IR sensors so we have uh, two IR sensors so if you see these are two IR sensors and in IR sensors you have uh, you have uh, three pins one is your uh, first one is your VCC which is your uh, which is your power positive and then GND which is negative and then there is output pin so basically how IR sensor works is if some obstacle comes over here basically here what we will do is we will use that black as our uh, sensing uh, point so the moment black line will come 
uh, this this IR sensor will get activated. So it will send signal to the motor from this out, and that motor will start rotating. So we'll connect uh, our um, IR sensor like this. So this is our IR sensor. So this is our IR sensor one, and this is our IR sensor two. So it will have three pins. This will have also three pins. One is your positive, one is your GND, and then one is your output. So similar is the case over here. One GND and one is output. So what we'll do is we'll uh, first we need to connect this IR sensor. IR sensor uh, normally take 3.3 volt, but it can also work with 5 5 volt. So we are not going to use another battery for this. What we'll use we'll use directly connect this 5 volt with this positive terminals of both the IR sensor. Okay, and that. Another thing you have to remember is that this ground, this both the ground should be connected and should be uh, connected together with the ground of that your uh, motor driver, otherwise it will not work. So both the ground should be same, then only this uh, whole thing will work. If you keep this ground separated, it will not work. And then you have output pins which has to be connected to the, uh, this um, input one of that um, motor driver and this IR sensor's two output pin has to be connected to the input uh, input uh, let me check what is the input number yeah input 4 so input 4 or input 3 so output pin number from IR sensor 1 either can be connected to input uh, pin number 1 or 2 and uh, so what will happen is if you connect it to, to input pin 1 then it will motor will rotate in one direction and if you connect that output to input 2 then it will uh, rotate in opposite direction so similar is the so that uh, you can control your rotation okay of the motor you don't have to uh, every time change the terminal of the battery connections okay so that's the circuit diagram uh, i'll probably post this uh, in our, my website and i'll send a link of it uh, so now um, let me uh, go to the hardware and let's start uh, uh, let's start building the things. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
so that is okay so uh, now what we can do is we can You can stick this thing with a cell uh, double tap over here. Yeah, let me bring some double tap capture. Don't worry too much about quality and all. Okay. And then we have this negative. I think there is one more negative. This two negative. And then there is a negative of this alternate should go to that everything. So is that all? So Where is it? So if you see that we made this all necessary connection, so we connected the uh, uh, driver module which is L29T8N and then we connected with the batteries then we connected the uh, this uh, IR sensor below and we then plug these things over here. So now let's test this guy. Uh, Okay, so after a lot of you know, uh, we can try, we could figure out that how the whole thing works. And if we see that uh, this uh, whole connection, whole system is working now uh, with uh, L298 uh, board and IR sensor.